Oh hello there, I am Empress Walnut and today I will show ye peasants that it is indeed possible to live on a penny a day. I know I hate me too, I'm wearing pajama bottoms so very Empress like. Now I know what you're thinking, Empress, you like nice things, you like lattes, salads, designer bags, how will you buy this with a penny? Magic. <laughs> Today we're flipping a penny to buy all the things we need. Food, water, transportations. We will buy absolutely everything we need using this penny. This penny. After three days, we will see how rich this walnut can get. Now, Ryan Tran started this video and I will not copy a single thing unless he does something in like video part three because I can't see to the future. My name is not Raven, although I wish it was. That's so walnut, it's the future, I can't see. So the first thing that popped into my head when I found out we only had a penny to live on was to look for free shit. I've enlisted the help of my friend Demi to help me find out where they find free things on the interweb. We found Gumtree. So I've seen someone, London Hacks, find a free bicycle on Gumtree and I was thinking if we can get a hold of a free bicycle, we can sell that for like 20 to 50 bucks, right? And then that would give us a huge jump. So we started Googling, we started searching for anything worth value. Worth, worth value? <clears throat> I'm really an intellectual. So right now we're on this website called Gumtree, which is kind of like eBay, but it's for when you live in the area. Yeah. There's a lot of things you can get on here that are considered free and freebies. People are just giving them away. They just want you to come pick it up. So right now we're looking for anything we can get for free and then sell. Anything people are giving away, if we'll we take the potential, <laughs> we're gonna take. Anything you yeah. have, we want it. So things we can't get though, I see a lot of like sofas on here. We yeah. have nothing to like drive that pole yeah. with. Yeah, so I think that they would no be used to us. And then a lot of people are selling um, dirt and rocks. <laughs> so if you do have dirt and rocks and you're looking to make some money, not a bad idea. No. Use what? Oh, four Wi-Fi games free. Wi oh, Wi-Fi. We. <laughs> Four Wii games for free. Good, um, they would sell. The only thing is, this guy that's selling them, he doesn't have a name, he just goes by C, but that's okay because I go by B, so I'm not that angry about it. But he does only have a one star rating. So, he said it says he normally replies well, in three hours. Well, the people didn't get murdered because they left the rating. <laughs> We don't have to like have contact to say. I saw the guy that was doing London hacks. He also did gum tree. He not only found a bike, but he also found people giving away like free food, just like extras they have cooked or they're going away. Oh, so what a trade. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind getting something if it's like closed. But then I'm like a hypochondriac and I would just think what if they've injected something into the pot? Oh yeah, but what an evil person. <laughs> yeah, they right, have to be yeah. very evil. But I watch a lot of murder documentaries so that explains that. To get cheap dinner and stuff tonight, we could obviously we can go to the shop, but don't can't we just buy restaurant leftovers for a pound yeah. or two pounds? So if we raised like if we managed to get a pound or two pounds as an app where you can get restaurant leftovers at a certain time. Mm -hmm. I think work. we should do that because yeah. it'll be a nice full meal for Full, like a pound. yeah. Yeah. So that we need, I think they usually have two pounds, so yeah, that'll be if perfect. we can get that. Okay, so we've emailed a couple people. We've emailed the video games guy. We've emailed the DVD collector person. Yeah. We've emailed... Also a person giving away their old clothes and then a person giving away a free TV that doesn't work, but you know it's free and at least we can sell it for parts. And with that, we were off. the last hour on Gumtree. No one's emailed us back. So we're gonna go out into the world and be productive, proactive. We're gonna look for coins anywhere we can find them. We're gonna look at like, you know when people buy tickets, sometimes their yeah. train is like in a rush. They're, they're gonna be late. They forget their coins, sometimes they drop. So then the sneaky walnut put on her train conductor hat and went into the train station to look for coins. Now, people sometimes are in a rush. The only problem was that a lot of the machines only took card and coins and like paper money doesn't exist anymore. 
then we found a parking lot where like they park all these expensive cars and i was like et voila mi amor this is the place we're gonna find them and then demi was like we should go into the metro station because the tickets are not exact change they're like a dollar and 86 or a dollar and 24 depending on where you're going so there was a big possibility people would leave coins and lo and behold we ended up finding a couple cents there too now obviously we're doing this in pounds because we're not in america but i have decided to just say dollars this whole time because it's too confusing because a lot of you guys are like from america tell me down in the comments like where you're from and if it's actually not confusing if i say pounds but for me when i hear pounds i think libs lbs so uh yeah and then what we decided to do was go into a thrift store and look for the cheapest thing. Now, we we're going to buy some clothes, but I was like, who's going to buy one shirt for me on the street? But then I found four DVDs for $1. But then I was like, you know what? I don't know if people would buy them, like a random mixtape on the street. So instead of dropping the B and the random mixtapes on people, I decided it'd be better if we could sell these online. So we decided to keep going and not buy these and not use all of our investment immediately and see what we can get at the dollar store on the way we found a coin which was great a dollar so then we went into the dollar store and now this is a place where we had the biggest conundrums i've ever seen in my whole life the dollar store is a wonderland of random shit you may or may not need cookies cakes teas demi had the idea to sell tea to people because there was 50 tea bags for a pound we could sell it to people but then we needed cups and hot water and then we were scared people were gonna think that we put something in it the whole time demi was paranoid people were gonna think that we have poisoned it we're not poisoners okay <laughs> um then i saw a bunch of nail polish and i was like oh maybe people want like a manicure done on the street but then we realized we'd only be able to give them one color option um and i'm not good at manicure so that was not gonna be good then demi thought we should play a game with markers we would hide the marker and then if you guessed what color it was you would win like five pounds or something but then we realized we didn't have money for the prize money so we we're like that doesn't work finally we came upon these muffins and i was like these are a great idea 16 muffins one pound i can sell Sell these for one pound each and it was gonna be great but then we're like oh my gosh they're all open who's gonna buy them from me so finally we found something packaged it was two dollars for 15 cookies so we were thinking if we could sell them each for 50 cents or a dollar we would make a lot of our money back right i hope this was the best thing we could have bought so Demi and I have decided what to do. It is sell these, tell them it's for a YouTube video, tell them it's for like filming, and then hopefully we'll get some money. I'm the one that's starting it though, <laughs> because I feel like it's less nerve wracking for me because I don't know anyone. Demi's yeah. probably like- I mean, like, I don't think I'll know anyone, but I think with like having an American accent, it's, it's like it's a little like bit a, easier yeah, to like get away with. I might have to try an American accent and yeah. do it. Hey guys, wanna buy my biscuit? <laughs> So then I went and I started selling it. Oh my gosh, was it hard and uncomfortable. Everyone that you guys see pictured here has consented into being like in the video that I've talked to. I've asked them if they're blurred, they kindly asked me to not put them in the video. Hey, are you guys asking people to play your game? Yeah, we asked people to play. Does it, it, it take a picture? Yeah. Oh, nice. I'm making a YouTube video. I can't, I'm trying to sell these. Do you want any? Sell Yeah, 50 piece. No, I know. Like could be. For free. free. <laughs> what, what about the game? Is it free? Yeah? yeah it's free that's it's good. Hold yeah. That's good. I'm okay, thanks. <laughs> Are you really gonna buy one? Yeah! No, you don't have to. It's okay. Are you sure? Do you want one? I can give you two for 50p just because you're my first sale. Yes. <gasps> Thank you guys so much. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay. It wasn't long until we got kicked out of this area for selling, but we were not going to give up. We just went somewhere else. And that's when we actually hit our biggest score. Cookie? Could <laughs> you want a cookie? Oh, we're selling them today yeah. for a YouTube video. We're trying to sell them as many as we can to like earn money. How much are they? They're a pound each. I've only got 10 pounds, but... I have change? It's okay. Are you, are you sure? Are you, how much have you made in the Two pounds already? Okay. It's not a lot. Are you sure? No, I can't. I can't. I'll give you two. I'll just give you one for free. It's okay. 
Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Then we had a sweet lady just come up and give us 10 pounds for the whole box of cookies. I think she was just trying to help out in a YouTube video because she like gets what it is. Then we went to Tesco and I'm actually surprised at the inexpensive things you're able to get in the UK because in America, I'm not sure you can find bread for 50 cents or 30 cents. But tell me what the prices are like where you live. But when I was in Las Vegas, I didn't see anything for like 60 cents or 65 cents, even at Walmart and places like that. Demi ended up getting a tin of beans, bread and coffee, typical British person. She's going to eat beans on toast. Look at how excited she is about it. I tried to get something healthy. I looked at the carrots for 59 cents, but ultimately I ended up going with like a spaghetti dish because it was going to be like all I was going to eat all day. It was going to be like um, the same thing for all of my meals. So I thought spaghetti was pretty versatile. I don't know. Like you can eat it plain. You can eat it with sauce. You can eat it with salami. Um, you can pretend it's bread and eat it with salami. So yeah, I, I really, this is all the joy I have in my life. It's really not that great. <laughs> Spaghetti. And then the spaghetti was 50 cents, the sauce was 50 cents, but the salami was $1. So in total, I spent $2. And then Demi also spent $1.50. So we ended up having a lovely, lovely dinner. I'm obviously the best chef on YouTube, so if you ever need any hooking, cooking, hook, not hooking, cooking tips, please check out my other videos. I am really just the genius cook. I also use some basil, or basil as the Brits say, from my basil plant. Um, I water it occasionally and it's still alive. So I mean, get your free veg when you can, mates. Yes, basil is a vegetable. <laughs> Then we went back to the charity shop because we had to start making the next video. If this video gets a 10,000 thumbs up, we'll make a part two. But we went back to the thrift store and we got the DVDs because I think they were like the best thing to buy. Apparently they're a hot commodity though because the exact same ones that I'd seen earlier were now gone. Great failure. We got four different ones. I put them up on eBay and that's as far as we'll get for now. Stay tuned to see next video. Oh my God, I'm so cringy. I'm leaving. Bye.